All right, everyone, if you have a question for coach, go ahead and raise your hand, we'll get started. Fred. Hey, Scott, uh, what what was the, uh, what would you say was the, the leading issue tonight? Uh, we struggled closing out all the way to the touch on the on the catch on three point line. They were 19 for 32. That's that's tough to do in an open gym. Uh, we got to do better. We got we 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 watched film. We talked about the guys and we didn't we didn't close all the way out to the shooters. And that that was the night and we had opportunities to to make some shots ourselves and we we struggled. We cut the lead, I think, six a couple of times, and they came and hit a big shot. And we would, you know, not make one, and, and you know, they extend the lead like three times on us when we would cut the lead to, you know, six or seven or eight points. And but they made shots, and we helped them make them. Do you, how do you assess the way that you guys switch defensively? Do, do, do you think you guys pull off the coverages the way that you're supposed to? Well, we, some of our, some of them, and some of them are not so well. Uh, some of them, a lot of them was just dri driving kick. Uh, tonight it was a lot of driving kick. They would, they would get us by on a, on a, on a move and we would, uh, we would overhelp and we would close out at two feet short. When you do that, uh, shooters make shots and we have to, we, we have to do that. We have to trust our abilities. We have to trust our quickness. We have to trust our skill to contest. And you know we did we did one time really good and we got fouled we got called for a foul on on Rolo but we have to contest the three point line we can't close out short we've seen it too many times. Neil, Scott, do you see any correlation between when Russell Westbrook is playing with you guys and you guys not having great defensive games? Um, no, I mean I. We haven't played well. Um, we haven't had uh, con some consistent rhythm. It's, it's going to get better. Um, but yeah, it's we're not. I know sometimes some of the questions. I understand some of the questions I get, and we're not two different teams. We're 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 one team, and Russell doesn't play on back to backs, and. That's the way we, we are. We have to make an adjustment and, and you always have to do that when you got guys out. Uh, hopefully we can get everybody and they getting some consistent rhythm, but I don't, I don't buy in and I don't, I don't divide uh, the team. It's, it's, we're, we're one team and some nights we don't have Russell. Uh, some nights we didn't have other guys and we're still one team. We still have to play well and we have to play better. I know sometimes it asks a lot and, and when you do that, a lot of times it's up and down. It's it's uh, the inconsistencies are there, but sometimes that's a little bit predictable, and we got to be able to fight through that and figure it out. Ava, Scott, kind of on that note, um, Russell it looked like was really struggling in the first half. What did you see in the second that he was kind of able to do a little bit better? It looked like maybe he was more comfortable in, in his shot selection. What did uh, what did you see? Yeah, I mean he's he he gets frustrated when he when 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 you have a dribble, and we've all we've all learned how to dribble from the day we picked up a basketball. And when you when you have a dribble and the ball suddenly doesn't come back to your hand because your hand is being blocked by another person's arm, that's frustrating. And we don't get those calls, and those are those are turnovers, and those are turnovers that lead to a transition, and you get frustrated. And not that, that I'm saying that the that was the game, but I thought he I thought he just said, I'm gonna manage, I'm gonna manage that and, and I'm gonna play through all of that. But sometimes you wanna you wanna be, you know, rewarded by doing the right thing and the defense not doing the right thing. But you know, we gotta we gotta play through that. Shy. May I record? Sure. Thank you.
Uh, coach, it seemed that uh, tonight the team played better with Avdia making decisions than with Westbrook. How would you assess Avdia's performance tonight? Um, say, say, ask that question again. How would you assess Avdia's performance tonight? Uh, because from what I at least saw, I thought the team played uh, better with him making the decisions than uh, with Westbrook, at least in the first half. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the question. Uh, Danny, Danny's going to have um, some good games. He's not going to have some good games. That's a, a lot of young players and actually a lot of players. That's, that's the league. You want to have consistency. Last two nights, Danny's gotten a lot of great looks. Um, the fact I like the fact that he came back and took those open threes. Um, you know, he made two out of the six, but last night he didn't make any. But a lot of times when you don't make any the night before or um, two nights and, and, and you just you feel like you, you're not ready to take that next one. But he came in with confidence. Then he's going to be a good player and he still has to continue to work on his game like he has. And yeah, that's. I, mean, I don't know if you're saying Denny's a better playmaker than Russell. I don't know if that's what your question is. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah. it, I'm, I'm just saying that tonight it seemed that way in this particular game. Yeah, I mean, Denny's, like I said, Denny's, um, we got our playmakers and he, he's, he's doing it. He's doing it just to just, he's at the right pace right now. It's a, it's a very difficult, it's a challenging league from that position. A lot of quick players and a lot, a lot of attack players. And he's doing a better job. He's fouling a little too many times, but that's a lot of times, you know, he's not getting in the right position. But those are the things that he's going to prove on as, as he gets uh, more experience. But he's he's been fine. Fred. Thank you. Yeah, Scott, I'm just – do you have an update on Ish? Yeah, he got uh, hit in the mouth. Uh he was bleeding from inside and outside stitches and just, they just, we just couldn't control it. Um, so that's why he didn't go back into the game. Um, he's going to be in a lot of pain over the next, you know, 48 hours, but he's a tough, he's a tough young man. He had bounced back and, and I'm assuming he'll play. Um, he'll play on Friday night. So I, I, I I'm, Curious how much you really went with an eight man rotation for the first time all year tonight. Uh, you went with a nine man last game after going with a 10 for most of the, most of the season. Um, how, how much of that had to just do with the, the ish injury and, and is this you cutting, cutting back your rotation, something? No, that I was you... going with, I was going with nine and then, you know, ish, ish goes out, but that, that gave, that gave DB. Rui and Danny more minutes. We need to get them, get them in a consistent flow. I know some nights it's not going to look as good as it's going to look uh, down the road, but uh, that was uh, it's a nine man right now. And right now, if, if there's a tenth, it could be any one of the of the guys that are available. And probably the next man up would be Garrison. All right, last question from Ava. But um, as you guys kind of look to even out, do these really up and, and really down games, does it take a lot out of the team as you guys are still kind of looking for rhythm, looking to get your legs back? Like, does it affect your energy in that way? Yeah, I mean, there's no question. It's a, it's a, this is a grind. The NBA season is a grind. This year is uh, more than ever. It's a, it's a very it's taxing mentally. And that's why we're going to have to stay mentally tough and fight through it. It's not easy. These, you could talk to the guys. It's not easy. This is not normal, what, what's happened to our players. And I'm not using it as an excuse, but it's, I'm proud of them. They're not using it. They just keep fighting. And they, and they, know, they know that they're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn and we're going to get in a nice rhythm. But right now, it's, um, it's a little up and down. You know, we, take, we got a tough one Friday night, but we won that one. We're four and four the last eight. And that seems like uh, that's going to be um, all we're focusing on is the next game. And, and the guys will do that. There's no question. I mean, I, I talk to them all the time and it's uh, it's definitely a challenge when you don't have your legs and 
you're playing against teams that are in in full swing and sometimes your confidence can get a little hit but that's why we got to keep keep these guys up and keep practicing when we can because you gain confidence through practice you know that's been very difficult with the amount of games the couple of three or four games or three games they've added in this month but we still got to be able to do it and still have a lot of confidence we'll bounce back uh, uh friday night all right thanks coach all right appreciate it guys uh alex len is at the secondary location for those of you who want to jump over there 